Let's begin with part one, which is the body of our work. You will essentially be making two triangles. As always, we're going to start off with a slip knot. Wrap your yarn around two fingers to create a loop, then bring your yarn through that loop to create your slip knot. Next, chain 22. You can chain any amount you want. This amount should equal the distance between the top of your shoulder and the bottom of your hip. Be sure to take into account factors such as having broad shoulders or a larger bust. Next, you're going to add one chain. Moving on to row one, where you will single crochet in the second chain from the hook and every chain across. This will give you a total of 22 single crochets. We will begin row two by chaining one and turning. Next, we'll work the camel stitch in the second stitch from the hook and every stitch across. This is where you would normally work your single crochet. But for the camel stitch, we will be working our single crochet in the horizontal bar beneath the actual stitch. You are still completing a single crochet, however your hook is being inserted into the horizontal bar. So to reiterate, we will be working the camel stitch in the second stitch from the hook and every stitch across for a total of 22 single crochet. In simpler terms, we are simply skipping the first chain and we are working our single crochet into the horizontal bar of the first single crochet of the previous round and every stitch across until we reach the end of our row. It is imperative that you do not forget the last stitch, seeing as we want the shape of our work to come out as neat and perfect as possible. You'll know you're on the right track when all of your V's for the normal stitches are facing forward. Moving on to row three, where like row two, we will chain one and turn our work. We will work the camel stitch in the third stitch from the hook and every stitch across for a total of 21 single crochet. In essence, you are simply skipping the chain one and then you are also skipping the first single crochet of the previous row. You're just gonna move on to that second single crochet of the previous row and work the camel stitch as you did in row two.
So rows 4 to 22 are super easy because what you're going to be doing is just repeating rows 2 and 3. You'll essentially be decreasing to form the shape of a triangle. You can do more or less than 22 rows, but the more rows you do, the wider your piece. As you can see, I have less stitches than what I started off with. When you're done, you're just going to chain one, pull up a loop, cut, and fasten. Once you've completed both of your body pieces, we're ready to join them together. You're going to lay one piece down on a flat surface, and then lay the other piece directly on top of it. Next, you're going to take your sewing needle and some yarn, and you're going to sew the parts that are in yellow together. And this will allow us to create our neck hole as well as our arm hole. There's no special weaving or sewing technique that I'm using, however, I am trying to sew in between the stitches that are already on the piece. After sewing, we're going to begin part two, which is making the cowl. Essentially what we're going to do is attach a new piece of yarn to the beginning of the neck hole to begin the actual cowl. We can do so by simply making a loop with our fingers and then chaining one to secure it onto our piece. Next, what we're going to do is single crochet around the circumference of the neck hole. It does not matter how many single crochets you make, however, the more you make, the bigger your cowl. When you reach your first single crochet, you're simply going to slip stitch into that single crochet and every single crochet around. The point of this cowl is to make slip stitches until the actual cowl begins to form. So don't worry about counting rows, don't worry about keeping track of where you are, just slip stitch, slip stitch, blah, 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 blah. say that three times, <laughs> slip stitch until you have a cowl that is big enough for you. I'm serious guys, give yourself a break. Do not worry about keeping track of the rounds. When you feel your cowl is complete, simply pull up a loop, cut, and fasten to secure your work. Then weave in all loose ends and turn your piece right side out to wear it. Slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Slip stitch, slow, oh, I give up. <laughs> 